transport. A dead sperm whale that was 16 metres long and weighed an estimated 40 tonnes washed up on the shores of Coromandel's Matapoa Bay last week. The Department of Conservation, local iwi and whale experts have been involved in the harvesting and burial process. Whale experts, uh, expert Hardina Rupapera no Ngati Rangitihi Te Arawa joins us now from Rotorua. Tēnā kwea, Hardina, thank you for joining us. Tēnā uh, tātou. How did you get involved in this mahi? Uh, I was very privileged and honoured to move into this mahi um, through my taranaki ta taha, ngā rua inerangi ngāti haua ngāti tū. Uh, thanks to Te Ngāti Wai Pūkinga Hori Parata, me tōna hunga. Now, it's obviously something that you, you, you have to be very passionate about too. In your experience, how do Māori handle this process differently from non-Māori? Uh, well, mai aku akuranga, uh, as Papa says, for us, the whale is a part of our family, is, um, is, a, is, a, fa is a whanaunga. So for us, we treat and honour that as a Taonga, I think different to a uh, colonised perception of the world. Harina, how do you deal with dead pohora? What's the specific tikanga that must be followed? Uh, we have strict tapu tikanga um, within taku taku ruruku and making sure we do everything right for tangata whenua. So I'm just a ringa hapai for the ropu and we help the tangata whenua. So in this case, it was ngati hei. Um, and kei arato anua rato tikanga. And what does this look like? Uh, it looks like wānanga um, coming together, making sure everything and all the protocols are clear for the tangata whenua before we touch the whale, before we do anything with the whale. Um, and then there are clear processes about how we cut and what parts, kuehea wāhanga, you know, that we take first. Um, and. And that's the process. It's very deep. I can't explain it on here. I'm not the expert of that tikanga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why do we harvest whale bone? What's the significance of this? Uh, well, for us, it's kind of about maintaining mātauranga Māori. So mo the knowledge is more what we're trying to preserve and then to help build capability and capacity of tangata whenua hapu to mobilise their rangatiratanga in the way that they want to. So we only support them to do that. Um, and it, it just takes away any of the mātauranga that we're, we've been very oppressed and I, I just watched that last story so you know in kaikiri and racism and that sort of thing those things that are also happening to Māori so uh, whakaaro nui ana ki a rātou ngā tangata take take oh. it's mai tira. Harina, how can people, how can we learn more about these special ways to, to treat and to deal with whale strandings? Uh, so there is a ropu named Te Manu Taupunga. I am just the ringa hapai in with to that ropu. And Hori Parata is the tohunga that uh, I've learned from and a lot of others. So if, if you do have a taonga come up on your shore, uh, you can contact Hori, Papa Hori and the ropu. And it's a space to be able to wānanga. And saying that, that each hapu have their own tikanga, hmm. and I've only learned the tikanga through that tohunga. But there are others. Um, and it's just a way to come together and understand te aonga atua. So the, for us, the whale comes from Tāne Mahuta, who entered the ocean and became a whāngai to Tangaroa. When they strand, they're coming back home to their, mm. to their mātua, ki te atua, ki a Tāne Mahuta. Um, and so that's kind of how we view ourselves too. So we are tai ao, um, and in the awhi of tu mātauenga is where the wānanga happens. So that just there is a short, is a small kind of um, piece of knowledge that some hapu have never even heard of, mm, so it's mm. quite, it really is empowering. Yeah, beautiful. Whale expert Harina Rupapira, thank you so much for joining us today and appreciate your insights. Ngā mihi. Ngā mihi.